Hey everybody, uh, we are in the entrance of our new multi-purpose arena and uh, today we're gonna show you guys around. We have three incredibly special guests with us that uh, literally helped build this place. They came here to build a program uh, from scratch from day one and uh, them and all their teammates are the biggest reason why this has happened. We have Dominic Garcia, Jordan Sandu, and Jake Wilson to show you around. So we hope you enjoy our new multi-purpose arena. We think this is gonna be the best venue in all of college hockey and we're happy to show you why. What's up Sun Devil fans, uh, former player Dominic Garcia, now assistant graduate. I'm um, just going to take you through the main entrance right here. So if you follow me, right here is going to be the uh, stick rack where all the guys are going to grab their sticks and their weapons for the game and head out behind you um, towards the rink. Right here on this wall is where we'll actually keep the uh, Sun Devil pitchfork that we award after each game so we'll be able to take it on and put it on going to be the players lounge so all the guys can come in here and hang out um, relax for a second uh, before we start practice or the games or meetings or whatever's going on that day. Uh, follow me into here this is going to be the dry stalls dressing area for the guys so coming in from class or wherever they're living uh, they can get out of their street clothes and into their ditch to get ready for practice and games or a workout with Leanne. This is going to be the players main dressing room with all their gear and all the stalls so um, if you can visualize it, there'll be the pitchfork up top and all the stalls around here. We'll have the TV for film review and things like that up here. And then all the guys are just going to be around the room um, just doing what they normally do, um, getting dressed, taping their sticks, hanging out, um, preparing for whatever the day has in store for them. Hello guys, Jordan Sandu here. Um, right outside the players lounge here is the training room. Um, in here you'll find all the guys that are soft, so you won't find me here much, but coming in here, over here will be the hot tub, cold tub area, um, a little extra treatment. Um, you know, you'll find Hicksy in here a lot after his uh, pickleball tournaments and stuff like that, so he'll be enjoying that. So this right here is going to be uh, Alta's office, I mean John Lofner's office, where he and his minions will uh, do whatever it is they do behind closed doors. I know a couple of people have complained. Um, but that's neither here nor there. This is where he'll be able to do all of his uh, skate sharpenings and any equipment issues that come up or just sit on his laptop and complain about jerseys and combinations. So it's really up to him what he does in his space, but we're excited for John. Hey Sun Devil fans, Jacob Wilson here. Uh, we just stepped into the training facility at our new arena. Uh, this is where our trainer, Leanne Lynn, is going to, in other words, torture us for a good year of uh, lifting weights. So there'll be a bunch of racks in here. We'll be able to do mobility sessions instead of in the dirt like we usually do. And then up top there, we got the cardio station. Um, so let's go take a look. Okay, so we're in the player hallway uh, where our team's gonna live uh, and, and eat, sleep, and breathe. Right across from the weight room is the coaches area, but this is a really cool feature in the hallway. It's gonna be actually a glass case with a bunch of mannequins in it featuring all the, the uniforms that our, our great equipment manager, Johnny Loftner, can display at all times and change out as much as he wants. So it's gonna be a really cool feature to bring recruits through and show them how well Adidas treats us. So we're standing in the head coach's office. This is where I'll do uh, all my work and excited to have some, some elbow room and, and, uh, and be in the arena that we play in. It's gonna be a nice, unique change for all the coaches and staff to be around the players and, and it's gonna enhance our culture even more. We're really excited about that. And over here, we'll show you, we're gonna have to step through some framing, but um, here's an assistant coach's office right next to mine. And you can see out here that, that it's all connected through a hallway. So we have our, literally our own corridor right across the, uh, the hallway from where the players are. And then this hallway connects all of our offices. And here's another assistant coach's office. I have no idea who's gonna go where they can flip a coin over it, they're both the same size. Then we go through this corridor, and then we, the coaches have our own lounge where we're gonna be able to meet and go through some chalk and plan for practice and, and in between periods and pre-game and do what we do. And we're gonna have a nice TV and some furniture in here, our own stalls. Then over here we have our own shower and, uh, and places to change and all that stuff. So it's gonna be an incredible change of pace for all of us. So right now we're at the entrance uh, that the players will take on their way out towards the ice. And right about here, we'll have an artifact from Oceanside just to remind all of our new players and old guys that have seen it, um, where we came from and all the dedication and work that we put in to be where we are now. 
And then if you just keep following me, you'll just take the ice and be like, go through center, let's go. Hey, one down, let's go, let's go. And just right out onto the ice right there. And then so the magic happens. a lot of wins, a lot of goals, and a lot of good memories that are gonna be formed out here. This is actually a really unique feature that we're really proud of that you don't see in many hockey venues. These are gonna be ice level, almost bumper suites right on the glass. So we're gonna be able to sell these in five groups of four so you can get a luxury kind of elite uh, experience on the ice that you do in the luxury boxes up top. So 40 people total are gonna to be able to experience, uh, you know, sweet level experience at our games right on the ice up against the glass, really cool. All right, this whole area here is a premium club level. Um, right here is a, it's a nice bar here, um, upgraded food and drinks. Um, you kind of come up here for a nice view of the game and then if you look over the edge, it's probably one of the best views. So we're here in the uh, luxury suites here. Um, they fit about 17 people, you got a great view. Unfortunately, they're sold out for the season, but I'm sure you can get a good haggling price, try and negotiate with GP. Here we're standing at the what we're calling the party deck. The party deck is for standing room only, so if you don't get a seat, you can stand here. There's going to be a nice counter, a ledge you can put your drink on, and come look at this sight line of the, uh, the arena. It's a really good place to watch a game. So if you don't get a seat and you get standing room only, this is a pretty good consolation prize. You're going to have a great sight line of the game. And this right here will be the community ice sheet. Um, this is going to be used to help grow the game of hockey in Arizona. Um, you know, this will host like youth games, uh, men's league, uh, you know, all up and down, all that. So um, this will be very good for, for the state of Arizona hockey and, and um, you know, make, throw the game here and make more kids come out and play and hopefully play for Arizona State one day. So right behind me is going to be the student section where we will have 942 seats in honor of our infamous 942 crew. Um, so these seats are gonna be retractable come all the way down to the ice. And we're expecting to have the loudest student section in the country. Um, so every game, they just give us life, give us energy, and um, hopefully celebrate a lot when uh, we score a lot of goals. Okay, we hope you enjoy the tour of our, of our new arena. Um, we owe a lot of thanks to a lot of people for making this a reality, but at the end of the day, this does not happen without these three guys and the teammates that helped build this program. This exists primarily because of their belief in what we could become and uh, what they helped build. So it's only appropriate that they're the ones that get to reveal how cool this place is gonna be and how, uh, how excited we are to be in what we think is gonna be the best college hockey facility in the country. The fork's up. <laughs>